Hi guys, YouTube, whatever, whoever's watching, love yous. Um, sorry this video is not very good quality and the eyes look like shit uh, at the end of the day and yeah. Now today's video I'm going to do, well it was requested, I posted it on my Smithstone page. So if not good sound quality, I do have a microphone plugged in but I'm not sure if that's too good. Um. I went to the Reese Masterstone concert on the 7th, on the 7th of December last year and I do two experiences because I really have had two experiences with him, he's so hot and I went to two, so the first one was on January 21st, so um I can remember it like it was yesterday. Literally, I can. Um, I went, well, me and my sister, we got ready the day, you know, I went and got a bag and stuff. And it started at 8.30ish, I think. So me and my sister, we went and got, I went with my little sister. We went and got McDonald's. You know, before the concert, because you're gonna feel a bit, oh, I want to eat and stuff. So we went to McDonald's as we're eating in the car. I'm like, oh, we're gonna be a bit late. And um, my mum's fiance is like, oh, what time did it start? I'm like, um, well, it starts at 8:30, and he's like, well, you're gonna be a little bit late, but it's only the opening act. So we get there, we find where it's supposed to be. My mum was going to go for dinner at the same place because it was a casino and we um we, me and my sister walk in, we asked where our seats are and we were on, say, oh it's hard, say the stage was right here, we were um up, say this is fun, sorry it's hard on computer. So this was the front of the stage right here. This one here. We were up um section B on the balcony, but the balcony was like so there's the front. So the balcony was about there ish. It's hard to explain but we were so close, like there's like a big screen then you could like I turned directly in front of me, it's a big screen. And then you turn front and directly in front of me is the stage. Um, so we walked in and Christina Perry from The X Factor is playing. So we, like, me and my sister sit down, all excited, all hyped up because it was so good. And she's like, after all her songs that she sings, I can't remember them all. I think she sang I Kissed a Girl. No, that was Reese. Um, he's, I went... Um, me and my sister, she's like, oh, um, if you guys want to meet me, come out now. So we ran to the door, like, stuff, Johnny, we're going to go see Christina. Because Johnny Raffo was going to play too. So we went and saw Christina. All right, me and my sister were staying in line for maybe five minutes. Before we saw another girl from Next Factor. I didn't walk up to her because I wasn't quite sure her name. So, um... I was waiting in line, me and my sister's like, alright, we're going to give up our spots, we're going to go get a t-shirt. So we bought two singlets for $40. And we didn't real I didn't realise until a few months later that the girl that was serving me at the concert for the, um, for, like, to get the shirt is Christina Bree's Pri best friend, and she was really nice. She's cool. Um... I, and we wait in line another 10 or so minutes, we get there, and, no, yeah, we wait in line another 10 minutes or so, and, um, she's, look, sorry if I look up like that, because I'm thinking, she, we walk, we're, like, standing there, to, I'm talking to my sister, and all of a sudden you hear, excuse me, excuse me, like, security guards trying to get through, and we look, we pan over quickly, and Christina Peru is standing, like, Actually brushes past me and my sister. I'm like, 
oh my god, did you, do you know, yeah, Christina, and, um, we wait another ten or so minutes, and we, sorry about that, I brought my computer, we, um, got to the front of the line, my sister went first, she got a picture taken, um, and then I went and got her signature, she said hello to me, and she was really nice, she's pretty, and, um, I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this concept before, but I'll talk about it again. Um, we look like, she's, oh, we take a photo, it was really nice, I'm like, bye, I'm like, see ya, she's like, bye, and then I run over my sister, like, oh my god, we just met someone from the X Factor, Reese Maston has hugged her and everything, and I was that far away from her, literally, we took a photo and our heads were right next to each other, so, <laughs> And, um, then we went in, and Johnny was still playing, I think, but, um, as he hopped off, there's like another ten minutes or so before that actual main act gets on. So, me and my sister are like, oh, uh, then all of a sudden you hear screaming, like, it's Johnny! It's Johnny Rambo! And then we like, I look over, and all the, lots of the girls are standing over on, like, there's a ramp thing to go out to where we met Christina and all the girls are like oh my god it's Johnny I'm like oh my god I'm not going over there so we didn't go over well we waited and after like another 10 20 minutes or so the lights went dark everyone started to scream like scream like there was no bloody tomorrow and there was like this really cool start where it just had like lights and stuff then he came on, me and my sister just hyped up, we started jumping and screaming and stuff. Then like, I waved at him a few times and screamed out his name. He looked over at us a few times. I never met Reese because the VIP was $100 and that's freaking expensive. So me and my sister saw him. We're like, oh my god, let's go see if we can meet him. And my sis, like, was at the end. We lost our really good spots by going to the stairs. Fucking, oh god. And, um, so we went and stood there and, like, we're sitting right at Reese and he's, like, looking. He's like, and then once, like, before that, he's like, alright, whichever little rocker, Alright, you guys, you little rockers, come down the front. And we're like, ah, we're trying to get down the front. But we got caught. And the lady's like, no, you go back up to your seats. Our seats were taken, so we just stood there. And then after that, it's a casino. It's freaking pubs and stuff in there. They have a concert that's going to have 10 to 15-year-olds there. And people, like, drunken men were getting thrown out of that place. Okay. I'm going to get to the second one because it's already eight minutes long. The second one was on the 7th of December 2012. By the way, they were all in the same year. So I went to... Um, it was at the... It was at this really big stadium thing. Like, it was huge. Me and my friend, we get there. And we're like, no... She, her mum picks me up from my house, like her mum and dad, and we're like, oh my god, in the car, like, we're going to see Reese Batman. It was like an hour's drive to get there. We saw a street called Batman Street, Batman Street, so we tried to take a photo, but that didn't work. And, like, there was so much traffic that wasn't even funny. Like, her mum's like, alright, as soon as we stop the car, you guys are going to get out. So we stopped in the traffic, and we, um, like, went for the footpath, and... There were so many little rockers just walking up, and we, what else did we do? We went inside, we went to the bathroom, did what we needed to do, and we walked in, and the main act was just coming on, so I wasn't late for this one. It was, the main act was, oh no, not the main act, the um, opening act was, the first one was the Janoskians. I don't know if you've heard of them. I will probably... Pro um, yeah. 
we saw them, they came on. They came on for a bit, started doing some funny stuff, talking to us, and then they all got off stage for a second. We're like, except for Skip and Bo, no, Skip and James. We're like, what's going on? Why are they all going off stage? And lots of them come, they, the rest of them come back out in Zuma Resta suits. So me and my friend would just piss ourselves laughing. And then they started dancing. I'm trying. They danced to Gunnam style in their fat suits and they did limbo and they, um, I think they danced to One Direction. Was it them or? No, I think they danced to Justin Bieber. And, um, then we, like, waited after their act went off and, like, and they're like, alright, let's give it up for Justice Crew. Beware, I have been waiting, I have been waiting three years just to see Justice Crew. Me and my friend, we freaked out. We, like, oh my god. We stood up the whole time. We were there and um, we're like, oh my god, oh my god, it's um, Justice Crew. And they come on, like, hello guys. No, before Justice Crew came on, the Janoskis were about to walk off, but Bo's like, hey guys, we've forgotten something. So we were like, oh my god, they're about to sing their song. They're gonna sing their song, set this, the Janoski, and set this word on fire. And like, they're like, all right, who wants to hear this? Um, who wants to hear us sing "Set This World on Fire"? We screamed. I'm like, because I wanted to go to one of the general skins underage parties, but my mum wouldn't buy me the tickets, so it's not like thirty bucks each. Sadly, and I went and so I went and got these tickets for. It was 75. Beware, I bought these tickets a week before the concert. Um, we got pretty good seats. Like, mm, it's really good. <laughs> Except we accidentally stole someone's seats. But they were re there was empty seats beside us. And they were, re well, they were, they were really nice to us about it. They are like, alright, you guys can sit there. We'll sit next to you. And we are like, oh, okay. And they sat next to us, so that was good. Um... Okay, where was it? Oh yeah, the Janoskians went off after they sing the song Just came on, we all screamed. They did dances, they talked to us a bit and they took off their shirts, they danced in one direction, which was amazing. That's when me and my friends decided we're gonna fucking record this shit, so we did. So I'm playing with the Sunday perfume bottle, which is on my mouth. It's okay. I, so we went to go, so we just stayed, like, my friend's like, oh, I want to get a drink. I'm like, well, do you want some of mine so we don't lose our seats? And she's like, sure. So we, um, and then when Dark Ambrose came on, we all stood up, and I'm, no one else saw him at, like, the start of the, they played a video thing, like, The Walking Dead, and where Reese is trying to take photos of zombies, but they took his phone off him. So, I'm like looking at the stage, I'm like, oh my god, there's Reese, like no other guy. So I'm like, Reese is on that side of the stage. Like, I can see him dead set. My friend, I showed my friend and she freaked out because it's her favourite singer. So, yeah. We both had a freak out together. My, and then we, he started playing his songs. He's like, I, um, if you guys scream loud enough, I'll convince, um, my guitarist to take off his shirt. So we screamed. He never did it. Um, then we decided, he's like, oh, in the first concert I went to, he's like, all right, whoever can throw a band at the guitarist, head, uh, my drummer's head will be good, the best little rocker. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I had a wrist, I had a hairband. I was playing my throwing it because I needed it. Um, so in the second concert, so it's a bit mixed up. Um, as Reese comes on, he's like, after a little bit of songs they sang, he'll talk to us about the songs. He spat water at some of the fans. He threw water bottles at them, which is funny. He's like, all right, um, he's saying songs of his new album and some songs of his old one. And he's like. To us, um, he's like, alright, 
If you little whichever little rocker can get on this stage past my security, can have a photo. All the girls stupidly in the floor seats to, in the floor, like the mosh pit, decide, Oh, we're gonna go try and get on stage you see all those little girls running for the stage. No one ever got on, which is funny. Um, I and then like Oh, with the general skins and justice crew. Me and my friend are waving at them because they're on the other side of the stage. We're waving, yelling out, and we're like telling them to come on this side. We can't see you properly. And they came on the side. They looked at us. They smiled and like went back on the other side. We're like, hey, they noticed us. The race did the same though. He was on the other side of the stage most of the time, so we're like, come, Reese, come over. We can't see you properly. And he comes over. And then he's like singing one of his songs. No, he's singing Rockstar. And me and my friend are like, he's like, I wish I learned to play the damn guitar. So me and my friend are doing air guitar. We're rocking our moves. And then he's like, um, he said to, what did he say? Oh no, he's like, Oh, it's getting hot in here, flashing his shirt lifting, and I was like, what's hot in here? And I'm screaming out, just take it off! So he takes off his shirt, which was fun. He is so cute. And he got a haircut, I'm like, what happened? And he decided that... Oh, yeah, me and my friend was, like, at the... Like, before we he comes on, me and my friend are just like, alright, we're figuring out a way to get on stage. We should... No, we figured out a way to get backstage, but we never went because security. As Reese goes off, he's like, he comes back on and says, Alright, I'm going to do a few encores. I'm like, my, no, lots of the little rockers are like leaving. I'm like, we're not leaving because he's going to do an encore. Like he did the last concert. He's going to do an encore. So he came and done the encore, did the encore, which was, he did good night. Oh, he cried into all his songs because, you know, Rihanna and Fish off Home and Away, she plays April. Yeah, he was going out with her and he missed her and he cried. I cried. We all cried. And, yeah, oh, and I also got Christina Pree to sign my shirt. She was signing a shirt, which I do not have at the moment. It's in one of those drawers over there. But, um, thank you guys for watching and there will be no editing in this and... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to make a better quality one, then I possibly will. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I love you all forever and always.